Henry Ford, as you may know, failed twice before he started the Ford Motor Company in 1903. I mean, the, the test isn't whether you get the greatest business idea in the world the first time out. The test is whether you keep learning as you go along what your strengths are and what you can do for your customers, what you can bring especially to the party. And to do that, uh, you need the education that, that I know you've received uh, through 10,000 small businesses, but you need a genuine desire day in, day out to delight the customer. I've never, I've never seen a business, and I've seen a lot of businesses, but I've never seen one that delights the customer that, that doesn't succeed. I mean, what you want is that customer the next day when they think, do I want to rent a car or do I want to buy some furniture? What goes through their mind? You know, it's the place where they've had a great experience. Um, I don't know what I paid for this type. Actually, probably if somebody gave it to me but for the purposes of the speech, I will <laughs> say, I, I have no idea, but what I, or the shirt I'm wearing, or this, but I do know, I will remember how I was treated when I bought it. I mean, you, you long forget about the price, but you never forget whether you had a good experience or a poor experience uh, with the purchase experience. And you'll have a hard time finding a person has had a wonderful experience, a delighted experience in purchasing anything that isn't going to come back. And similarly, uh, if the memory is of rudeness, indifference, you know, whatever it may be, they're never going to come back. And as a small business owner and as you grow, you have to not only be able to project that interest in people's well-being in delighting them yourself, but you have to do it through other people. And you won't be able to do it through people who themselves uh, do not feel they're being fairly treated, that their views aren't, aren't, aren't appropriately considered. So you really do have to learn to multiply yourself uh, through other people. and. Uh, uh, I advise, I advise the young people to come to Omaha. We have a lot of a number of classes. Uh, uh, the key is to is to certainly, in terms of your personal life, the most important decision you may make you'll make is is the spouse that most of you will likely have, and it's very important to surround your people yourself with people that are the better than you are you are going to move in the direction of the people you associate with. So if you constantly. I, I've been enormously lucky in that respect. I mean, I've, uh, I've, I've just had teachers and, and friends and a spouse that really was a better person than I was. And I had enough sense to learn from these people that, that life went better if you behave better yourself. It, uh, uh, it took a while. <laughs> the, uh, uh, so I, I advise you to seek out as your partner in business, your partner in life, whatever it may be, look for the people that actually uh, are examples to you rather than somebody that you need to, you think you need to straighten out yourself. And simple rules like that delighting customers, working through other people, associating with people that will, will cause you to move in a better path than you might otherwise have. They will take you so far in life that uh, it, it, it's hard to believe. I mean, they, they took Rose Blumpkin without being able to speak a word of English, and, uh, couldn't read or write, and they took her to what is now a a billion and a half dollar business. And incidentally, there's been no money put in it since the $2,500. That's been the total capital paid into the Nebraska furniture market. And, uh, and 
I think if you looked at Enterprise, I don't know their books the same way, but my guess is that that uh, very little equity capital has been added to Enterprise over the years. The, the business built on itself.